guys, welcome back to SnowRunner. Royal BM and uh, Petro Bay. And we're going ahead and fix uh, the landslide here. Uh, let's be digging the map and this is what we're doing right here. I believe the landslide's going to be right here. I need to start opening the roads up in this area so I can get around and maybe find some upgrades and uh, do some all the good things. But cargo management, let's go ahead and unload this so she get one of the loads, uh, at least one of them done anyways. Uh, what did that open up? Uh, open up that up there. Did it? I think so. Um, alright, so now we go ahead and fix the bridge. And it looks like, well, let's take the World BM down here. It looks like I can get some uh, wooden plates down here. It's going to take me a couple trips unless there is a trailer down here I can borrow. Um, let's go ahead and back on up. And move on forward. Yeah, I want to get the roads up open up as much as I can and get the map kind of uncovered. Try to get all the upgrades that we can in Alaska that way when we start uh, doing some more jobs here. If I got upgrades I can use, uh, we want to be able to use them, right? So that's kind of the thing. Go slow over those barricades. I've, I've plowed through those before and they can wreck the heck out of your engine and suspension for some unknown reason. Well, see, barely. I barely went over that and, um, yeah. Uh, but it's all good. We're fine. We're fine. Let's go see if we can uh, at least get to the lumber mill. I assume that's what it is. I don't have all-wheel drive on. Just going ahead and do rear rear wheel drive. Say it slowly and uh, you'll get it out. Let's see what we can find along the way here. Plus, there's a watchtower over here as well. So, we'll try to uncover that. Um, yeah, 6.0 has been released. I have yet to use some of the stuff. I mean, just barely logged on here. It's been a couple days since the update came out that looks like uh what is that uh the oil field all right so where uh, what's this down here the lumber mill um i just hit the service sign so i don't know <laughs> where that is but this is gonna be the warehouse down here all right that'd be a lumber mill let's mosey on into here and of course any jobs that we find along the way we'll go ahead and accept those i should probably put oh we'll drive on just because uh, you don't need to be getting stuck everywhere. I don't know if there's a gas station yet, but I did see the sign says service. I don't know. Some warehouses will have service areas as well. So we got to find out if there's fuel here. Um, I do want to find a trailer store as well, just because I'm curious about the um, the radar trailer or whatever. It's kind of like a watch mobile watchtower we can bring along to open up certain areas. All right, let me go ahead and we'll grab some wooden planks here. Uh, wooden planks, load, load. But while we're down here, the watchtower is just, well, it's right there. So let's see if we can scoot across there and find that. I mean, it's just 98 meters that way, right? Should be able to, you think we'd be able to get across there. Uh, is there a road or something that I just can't see? Uh, the road is from the other side. Well, what fun is it if you don't try to... I think I can get through the, the forest here. Maybe. I might get stuck here. So it's not probably the smartest thing to be doing. But um, I don't think I can squeeze through there. Sometimes the branches will just get you pretty darn good. Uh, that looks like a tight squeeze, Peanut. Can you do it? Um... I think we can. Just bully your way through there. You got it. You got it. All right, not a problem. All right, so we got uh, three jobs discovered. New objective. Yep, yep. Lost tools. Any? We're looking for. Not objectives, but we're looking for upgrades. And I don't think we, we've found any. And that's the three jobs that we knew about. And no, we did not find any upgrades. Well, that's kind of, I don't want to say discouraging, but um, it's fine. Looks like a lot of the jobs are here. Let's go ahead. Is there a way? No, there isn't. Uh, so I'm going to drive back out to where we came, uh, where we fixed one bridge. We're going to come down here and, well, ooh, wait a minute, can I get across? So we were here. 
Yeah, let's, let me drive right back across the woods here. Come here, and we're going to see if I can get across here. Right up to there. That'd be... That's the easiest way. I need to turn this thing around. Alright, let's see what kind of a crossing we have here. If I want to call it a crossing. Uh, okay, this could be... A little bit more interesting than I originally thought it would be. But then again, why would they... It's not supposed to be easy, right? I still don't think we have the raised suspension for this thing. It's a little bouncy, but yeah, it doesn't look that bad. Just save me some time traveling. Oh, it's not as bad as I originally thought it might be. Of course, I'm not quite through yet, but uh, yeah, we're fine. We're all good. Get another bridge built and opened up. We got a watchtower open, but no upgrades. No upgrades. We'll find some. Let's get this bridge halfway built at least. Um. No, wait. Uh, okay, wait. That's a different job. That's a different job. All right. Uh, I need to come over here and drop these off. I was like, what the heck? What the heck's going on here? All right. Cargo management. Unload those two. All right. Back to get some more. Come back and we'll have another bridge built. Nighttime bridge building, but not too bad. I already got two pieces of the road open here fairly quickly. Perfect. Not much experience or cash, but uh, it gets done, right? No, that's not the, that's the wrong button. Uh, so we, I know we have a couple more areas that are kind of questionable, um, but where is my Hummer? I left my Hummer somewhere. Where, where did I leave it? Where, where? You know what? How about you just click on it? Uh, that'd be easier. Ah, way the heck over there. All right. Because there's a watchtower there. All right. Uh, I have no upgrades of uh, to find yet. Uh, but I think if I drive the Hummer 2 back out. Ooh, I got a long ways to drive around, don't I? Uh, maybe I can sneak through here. All right. So we'll... No, uh, no that's sorry. That's wrong. Uh, let me jump in the Hummer first. That might be easier. Uh, how much fuel do I got? Not a lot of fuel left, is there? No, but we will continue. Maybe we'll find somewhere we can, where you can get some fuel. Uh, so across here, yeah, who knows what this is? And yeah, it looks like we'll come out to there. Maybe we can get some fuel there. I doubt it. Man, those that watchtower is a little bit further away than I thought, but then again, I'm kind of zoomed in. All right, so let's go. Oh, no, I was in the map. Sorry. Want to go ahead and advance time so that way we're in some daylight hours here. All right, so apparently I want to go. After I release the handbrake a couple times. There we go. I mean, if we're out of fuel, we're out of fuel, then that means we'll just have to go ahead and go back to a garage somewhere. Not the biggest uh, worries. We'll see how far we can get. Man, this thing is terrible in the flipping snow. I need some upgrades. I need some upgrades for this thing. I made it to the river and did help out once I put all-wheel drive on. I keep forgetting that uh, when you get out of a vehicle and go back into it, sometimes all-wheel drive will be turned off, especially if you reload the game. So, I mean, that helped out quite a bit. <laughs> a lot of you probably were saying when I was in the Hummer and I was getting stuck, I'm like, you don't have all-wheel drive on. Yeah, that helps out quite a bit. I think I've already used reserve fuel that's up in the rack. So like I said, we'll just see how far we get. Now with all-wheel drive on, it's doing a little bit better. Uh, let me re rephrase that. It's doing a lot better. But hopefully uh, when we get the next watchtower out here, we can find like a gas station. I don't care if there's a garage on this map, but a gas station would be nice, or a trailer. I'm trying to remember, can I hitch up a trailer to this? I'm trying to remember if I can or can't. I know the Marshall we cannot, so I mean, if I got a trailer to it, I can refuel it. So the trailer store or a gas station would be kind of good. 
Uh, I'm not quite sure I know what this place is, but there are no jobs here or anything. So I guess that's going to be for... I'm, I'm pretty sure when it comes time to do contracts, the stuff will be coming here. Uh, but right now, I guess I'm headed out towards a watchtower. At least that's the objective. Uh, back to all-wheel drive uh, going out here. So hopefully, like I said, I'm looking for, well, the flashy lines on the ground, basically. <laughs> As I pass anything, uh, we'll accept the jobs, but upgrades as well. Ooh, we got a couple slides up here. Is there a gas station, trailer store, something of that nature? Or an upgrade for a race suspension for a Hummer? Uh, am I stuck, really? And I don't have anything to attach to. Well, it does say service that way, but there's a watchtower right here, and I can't see. Service would bring me down the road towards this way. So I'm going to try to get to this watchtower beforehand. Hopefully we don't burn through all the fuel that we have before I can get to service. I don't know if service is going to allow me to refuel or anything like that. Uh, I'm looking for the watchtower through the trees, but I don't see it. All right, so it looks like I want to go to here, to here, to here, to here. Burning through a lot of fuel to get here. Is there, there's a car there. Usually when there's a car like that, it usually means there's an upgrade. So Family Treasures, old Mac, uh, old Mac something. Uh, they get to read it, but I do believe the upgrade is this right here. Can I... Let me in there. So we can see. <laughs> yes. Get upgrade. Please. Raise suspension not available for, for current vehicle. Well, why would it be? Um, the, uh, the MK38. Uh, which is something I don't have at the current time. That's fine. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, was that the only upgrade? So there's a warehouse which we went to. So now I gotta try to find the service area. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get there with the amount of fuel I have left, but we'll give it a go. Well, I was wrong. I actually do have still 40 liters on the roof rack. Uh, go figure. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and put some fuel in this thing there now I'm all set so making our way over at least trying to and uh, this is where we are at this current stage uh, yeah we were at the watchtower where is it uh, right here made it on down uh, this this part of the road is kind of as you can see is a little bit on the uh, steep side to one side here uh, I do have that I can tie to it looks like in patch 6.0 the winch problem is kind of resolved meaning when we hook up to something it doesn't start pulling you right away so that's a good thing I started thinking when I was driving over just said, wait a minute when I left the other map I'm pretty sure I topped off uh, everything that we have uh, how about the back of the vehicle to there not sure what I'm the front end is stuck on, but the front end does not want to go anywhere. And it's definitely not wanting to go anywhere the position I got it in. Definitely worth having the extra long rope for the uh, the winch. I want to be able to reach the service area at least. Although with only one more watchtower to unlock, 
I think I could probably unlock it and probably drive my way out of here if there's no more road construction I have to do and drive around. Of course, right now I'm just driving on the road. I don't have any set waypoints. I just know that we saw a sign back there that said service. Have no idea where it's bringing us to. Well, <laughs> didn't know it was going to bring us right to the watchtower, but um, here we are. And I'm kind of stuck on it. Uh, upgrade location, that's what we want to see. Is that it? I don't want to say that's it. Upgrade location is good. And apparently it drove right past it. Uh, trailer store? I think that might be a trailer store. But uh, we need to go back. Uh, yeah, it's just right there. Oh, let me go back on the road itself. That's probably the smart thing to do. See if I can get closer before I start trying to drive off road. It's in here somewhere. Just try to get through these trees. Uh, right ahead of me. Oops, I'm in high high gear. Let's not do that. And I think I'm on top of the car as well. Uh, yes, I am. Let's get the upgrade. So another raised suspension, but not for the vehicle that we're currently in. Well, there's the raised suspension for the Royal BM, finally, uh, for that, which is good. All right, well, let's go ahead and exit on out of there. But now I want to do is I got to get out of myself out of the situation, and I want to get over here to the service trailer. So that is all the watchtowers unlocked here, and I believe that's the, all the watchtowers unlocked everywhere. So the one thing, can I do that while I'm in this? Uh, no, hang on a second, let's exit out. Uh, have to go here. Let's go to Alaska. Upgrades unlocked. 13 of 23. So there are 10 upgrades on these maps to where um, watchtowers don't find for you. So there's randomly out there. Yes, yeah, so we got all the watchtowers done. Uh, we still have a vehicle that we haven't found, which I think I know is in Pedro Bay. Uh, but yeah, the upgrades we still got to find. But that's no problem. We got 35% of Alaska done already. That's pretty good. And the Kola Peninsula region. That's the new map in 6.0. So if you bought the Seasons Pass to SnowRunner, um, I think it's called like Seasons 1 or something like that. But yeah, that's what you kind of need to get that map. Uh, can I just back out of here, back to the road? I doubt that I can. Or maybe I can. Anyways, I want to get over to that trailer store. So yeah, the H2 uh, upgrade location. Hmm. So usually I don't like to try to go to the website and just say show me where the locations are drive around unless I really want something right now you know it, the H2 is doing okay so and really do I need any more scout vehicles right now in Alaska yes and no but um, we'll see if we can find them along and maybe when I get to the trailer store we can find this thing uh, the sonar trailer I don't know what's called radar trailer maybe that's what it's called uh, let me get there and see what that uh, that does for us if it's actually there Hopefully, I think the Hummer 2 can take a trailer. Well, I just had a quick look on the map, and apparently, from what we have found, there is no trailer store on this map here, or a gas station, so that kind of that kind of sucks. But uh, we're going to go up the road here, because I do believe the other vehicle that we have not found yet is right up here. So we're going to go up the road here a little bit, and um, accept the job and see what uh, what we have to do sometimes it's just repair sometimes it's it's i have to haul it to a parking area and yes i am in the royal bm uh thinking ooh, suspension raised suspension but uh, since we're not too far from where we need to be it's just down the road here a bit yeah raised suspension might be good for an area like this Ooh, nope can't do that uh but we can do this Oh, that's right. I'm in high gear. All right, now let's do it. Do it to it. Alright, so I think the job is right here. 
So I'm going to back in. So it looks like another H2 Hummer. That's a show task. A hunter managed to run his truck into the swamp while, ca while chasing a moose would send a tow truck but they're out on all the jobs. You interested? Well, I, I, I guess. Is this a job I thought I was going to? Uh, Old Mac in Drown Car. Yeah, okay. Uh, not a problem. Uh, wait, I did not... I accepted it, but how about we start tracking it? Uh, what am I doing it? Delivered to parking. Well, okay. Uh, parking where? Parking there? Alright. We can, we can do that for sure. Am I still in reverse? I do believe I am. Let's get close enough here. Uh, I don't think the winch is connected to what I want it connected to. Alright, let's put in low gear. Low, low. Uh, Got me nervous here for a second. It's out of fuel. I'm like, what do you mean I'm out of fuel? I mean, the Royal BM's not going to have no problem. I mean, this Hummer 2 is going to be beat to crap by the time I get back to where we're going with it. All right, so I need to go to here. Yeah, we've been kind of already down this road. And yeah, this is the road we just went. Uh, this is a little steep through here. But it's where we're going to go. And then out to here and deliver to parking. And then we'll be right next to our... Our Hummer too. So kind of at the steep part here, this Royal BM is not having no issues anywhere yet. I mean, my my Hummer too got stuck stuck right here, and I was wondering if I was going to as well. I'm still in high gear. Now I can't hit hook up a winch to anything because I'm already hooked up to something. I'm gonna leave in the high gear for now, as long as I'm moving forward. I don't want to shift gears. Because if I can get out of the high mud and high gear, then, uh, yeah, once I get through this, it's pretty much a breeze to get to the parking area. And then I think after we get this uh, to the parking area, I think we're going to recall the Royal BM back to the garage, get the race suspension, bigger tires. Just because. Uh, I do like this vehicle quite a bit. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it at the beginning because it didn't have diff lock on it, but overall, this truck is doing mighty good. Uh, until we get some more uh, higher rankings for ourselves, we can't get better vehicles. Well, I shouldn't say better vehicles, but newer vehicles. So we just have to wait for that time to come. So let's get this to the parking area and uh, see what I, I, I need to look at see what the reward reward was because it doesn't matter to me. Jobs need to be done. And so our Hummer 2 is already here. As far as I can tell, there was no trailer area here. There is a fuel tanker there. That looks like something I'm going to have to drag to the oil rig later on. Alright, let's accept that. And yes, we are going to recall the Royal BM, or recover, uh, to White Valley. Let's go ahead and accept that. So we got to change maps. Uh, yeah, let's put the race suspension on this thing, get bigger tires on it. All that fun stuff. Uh, so customize, suspension, raised, install, uh, go back to the stock one, make sure we sell that and get 6,200. That's pretty darn good. All right, let's go to tires, uh, the chains. Now we can go to 51. Why wouldn't you get chains in all the tires? Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Let's go ahead and purchase that, install. And these here, we'll go ahead and sell those. Pretty much got our money back for it. So, yeah, race suspension. Uh, tires are four, inch, four inches bigger. So, that helps out quite a bit. Um, while we're here, I don't think we got any... Uh, no, we did get some unlocks. Um, what does this do? A fine-tuned version of the popular engine support. Excellent reliability and power at the cost of even lower fuel efficiency. Uh, okay, so what does this do to us? Uh, that one there. I lose power to weight. But I gain fuel. All right. And this one here is overall worse. So it looks like I might be. I think this is the engine I'm looking for right here. Explore Alaska to find this item. 
Uh, that's fine. So tires we got. I think everything else, we're good to go on that. But we're going to leave this here for now in the garage. Actually, you know what, what, I, what I might do? I'll just leave it right here in the garage for now. Um, let's go ahead and get out of there. And actually, let's go ahead and leave the garage. Because what I want to do, because I don't know if I'm We're going to do one more job here, and I don't know if I'm going to get another chance to do this. I just want to go to the trailer store. Um, see if we can find you here. I don't know what it's going to be called. Maintenance trailer, note service trailer. So where do you get... Step deck. Service trailer, maintenance trailer, fuel. Hmm. I thought we just had to go to the trailer store to get that thing. Where, where, where? Where, oh, where would I get the radar trailer? I don't know. I have no idea. I probably should have done some research before I just said, well, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and turn that engine off. I said engine off. Thank you. So now we're going to go back to Global Map, and we're going to go right back to Northport. And let's jump right into the White Western Star, because I need the crane. And we're going to do a job there. Uh, I think there's some things we need to pick up and deliver somewhere. Uh, I kind of remember that task. So let me go ahead and get that kind of squared away here. And uh, yeah, we'll get started on that task. Well, I decided to recover the White Western Star because I want to bring back to the garage just to check on a couple things. And I'm glad I did because um, there was a better engine I could put in and something I guess we discovered and I kind of forgot about it. Uh, but yeah, it was an upgrade I think we discovered somewhere, so I didn't even have to pay for it. So obviously I installed a better engine. Definitely better power to, definitely a little bit better power to weight and a better bit fuel consumption as well. And I got to sell the engine that we had in there, so yeah, a little bit of a profit. So we got a better engine in here. Let's go ahead and pick up these cargo containers. Uh, these could be rather big. Uh, I might have to take two trips here, but that's, you know... It'll be what it, it, it is, right? All right, so all-wheel drive on to go in here. Let me go ahead and put it in the low. All right, so this is a little bit bigger than uh, I've been driving. Longer, I should say. Hopefully those limbs don't cause a problem for us later on coming out of here. Are these big containers or little containers? These are big containers. Can this crane lift these is the question. Um, can I... Can I... <laughs> can I anchor on here? I think I can. Alright. Well, it's been a while since I used the crane, so give me a moment here. And then, well, it is lifting it up. I'm actually shocked about that. All right, so this crane has no problem lifting this stuff up. Okay, so pack cargo, perfect. Restore crane, perfect. Uh, I think I'm going to get to daytime because I don't want to be driving at night here. So I could drive forward. I think that's what I'm going to do to be smart. Drive forward and get out of here. Go to there. There to there. And just make sure I know. And I'm going to mark the port even though I know where the port is, just so I can see how far I need to go. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Get the heck out of Dodge with the first container of two. Well, kind of like a Sunday morning drive in a way. It kind of rather easily made it down here. Nothing too steep or difficult to do. 
All right, one down, one to go. No, not neutral, reverse. Time to head back, grab the other one. Figure I come in the same way as I did the first time because it worked out rather well. I don't think I could have came in the other way and gone out this way, but with those two trees there I have to go around. I think the cargo may get stuck on the trees going in the corner, so probably the smartest move is to come in the same way, right? Now this time I'll put the parking brake on as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and anchor the crane. Crane mode. So much of the same as before. Hitting all the wrong buttons. Just well, I'm, not, I'm hitting the right buttons, just in the wrong order. Let's hurry up and pack that cargo before it falls off. Perfect. Uh, just restore crane. All right. And forward we go. Get the second piece of cargo delivered. Containers in the river are now out of the river. And arriving with the second container. Easier than the first trip. And deliver. 350 experience, 2600 cash. All looking good. Uh, bags on ice, so that's another... That's another job. Uh, fire in the barrel. That's something else. Um, what other job? I think we got time for one more, I think. Uh, stuck in the mountains. Just trying to find something that we could possibly do. I mean, I can see the vehicle there. That That's actually up there pretty darn good. Um, let me have a look around and see what, uh, one more job that we could do. That doesn't uh, require too much. I've said that before and got myself in trouble. Back in White River. No, sorry, White Valley. Yep, I know I'm going to keep mixing that up quite a bit. Um, I thought, well, you know, we upgraded the Royal BM. Let's take it out for a spin. Uh, we got to get a scout out of the river. I thought, okay, well, it shouldn't be that difficult, like I always think. And then uh, I start looking at the map going, oh, crud. Uh, it could be. Um... Yeah, where this where this truck is, I'm not sure if I can get down the way I'm going, but we're going to drive here and see if I can go on down. It's going to be one of those things, uh, remember the Navstar? I kind of drove on down the river. It might be doing the same thing here. Uh, definitely don't want to drive on down there. Um... Yeah... How does one get down there is the question, right? Well, I'm zigging zagging my way down the forest, uh, that side of the bridge with a Royal BM. And taking a plunge. Just squirt around here. Make sure I accept the task. I mean, I think I've already done so. But we'll, we'll... Yeah, okay, i kind of already done it. Uh, alright, let's go ahead and do the easy thing, which is do that. And really, for where I got to deliver it, I think the smart thing for me to do, so he says, let me look at the map again. I mean, where I got to deliver it is down here. I want to just try to drive down the river, see if I can get to this road. I'm going to put a marker on the road here. It's only 164 meters. So, 
I mean, it should be easy enough, I would think, right? This river doesn't look deep at all. So let me just dive right into it. We got the high snorkel on here. Now, the only thing I don't want to do is get stuck on a boulder or anything. Oh, I was like, uh, what's taking... I'm taking engine, engine damage? No, it's the vehicle behind me. So, gotta remember, we got uh, the rate suspension, and plus we got four inch bigger tires on here. So that's definitely gonna help us out by not bottoming out as much as we used to. Uh, but with the Royal BM, we never did that much bottoming out. But uh, with the extra clearance, definitely gonna help us out. Once we get out to the road here, I think, I don't wanna say I'm home free, but uh, it's gonna be pretty much easy peasy, nice and easy from here on out. Uh, I need to look into that uh, radar trailer that we can put out there. I don't know. I mean, I saw people using it in the beta testing. So I just need to have a quick look at where we buy. I thought it was going to be in the trailer store, but I was wrong. Or do I need to have a scout vehicle in order to hitch that up too? That I don't know. I even went to the garage and went to the, uh, the store in the garage to see is there a special category for the trailer there. And I didn't see it right off. I didn't look too hard. But I didn't see it there either. So hopefully by next episode... Um, I'll know where to find it or how to attain it because there are, like we said, 10 upgrades available still in Alaska that watchtowers did not cover. And I would like to find them. Should have no problem getting this out to where we were. So yeah, this, these are, this is one of the watchtowers I did. Uh, off camera and when I got out there uh, this watchtower I don't want to say like I said re revealed absolutely nothing because this job that we're doing was right before the watchtower so I accepted the job went to the watchtower and I was like hey congratulations uh, there's a watchtower here it's like oh well thanks um, that's all you got to show all right and I drove through here at night with the the H2 and I don't remember it being like this I was trying to hitch up the winch to a tree, and I'm already, I'm already using it. All right, we'll make progress. Brace suspension and the bigger tires, I'm sure, helping me out here get through this a little bit better. Plus, I'm dragging that thing behind me, so that's probably bogging me down quite a bit. But slowly I turn, step by step, inch by inch. Wiggle the tires there a little bit, Pina. Yeah, that'll, that'll help you out. There we go. Home free. Let's go get this delivered. I don't want to say home free because um, I could get stuck somewhere else. Just about there. And we are there. Task complete. I don't know how many jobs we actually got here in White Valley. Airborne. Now if I go to here. Right now the only one I got is search and rescue. But I'm pretty sure. I mean if you look at the map. There's areas of this map. I have the watchtowers in not uncover. And I'm pretty sure that flipping little radar thing. Would definitely help us out quite a bit. Um, there's another delivery to park and there's another scout lost here. Can you imagine that? People out here do not know how to drive. Search and rescue. So it looks like the scout is out here. And I got to deliver it there. So really where the Royal BM is, I can just drive up the road. It's kind of a little bit of a drive, but not too far. Yeah, so we may start the next episode that way. Um, this week here, uh, you may actually get more SnowRunner episodes than usual because I'm kind of done for now with Among Trees and Journey of Life for a little bit. So that leaves some openings uh, for a couple more episodes. So maybe you might get a couple more this week. We'll have to wait and see. But as for today, guys, today, that's going to kind of do it. Getting all the tasks and watchtowers uncovered in, in Alaska. Uh, got a couple of upgrades. Uh, yippee, one for the Royal BM, which I'm happy for. And uh, yeah, we'll have to get some more tasks done and maybe a contract next time. 
Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing a contract. But yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you next time right here in SnowRunner. But until then... Wait, where's my horn? There we go. Have a good one.